package full of pod that could come with a high price tag. A Massachusetts mother expecting a gift for her 11-year-old daughter. Instead, finding FedEx delivered seven pounds of marijuana. That's bad. Here's worse. Police say FedEx provided the drug dealers with the woman's address. One even showed up to her house before being arrested. She's now suing FedEx for putting her family at risk. Attorney Anahita said, I got far, says she has a case. Monica Anahita says she does not. We reached out to FedEx. The company uh, refused to comment on this. Anahita, you're hearing this and saying she might have grounds. Explain. Neil, not only does she have a case, but this woman is going to track FedEx's wallet all the way to the back to the bank. Pun intended. And FedEx better get ready to write her out a big, big check. Because this is beyond gross negligence. I mean, look at what happened. They sent this woman a, a packet containing seven pounds of pot. It's the wrong address. This woman does the right thing. She calls the police. The police get involved and they let FedEx know, hey, this package contains pot and it's possibly part of a drug deal. And what does FedEx do? They go ahead and lead these drug dealers straight to this woman's house. Of course she's going to be in fear for her life. She has young children. These drug dealers got arrested, and they know where this woman lives. There's going to be possible retaliation here, and she has every right to seek damages for her emotional distress. Monica, you don't think she does? I don't think she does. Unfortunately, when she received the package, she signed for it. She consented to the terms and policies of FedEx. And not only did well, she, she didn't know what she was thing, signing for. I mean, she had no idea. But she signed. But she signed for the package. So she signed for the package. It was not the intended recipient that she, she was not the intended recipient. But she signed for this package. Now, she at this time consented to any terms and policies that FedEx may have, and the terms and policies of FedEx are the following. She's if got drug dealers package, coming to her house. Mail, I don't think you yes, can consent however, to receiving marijuana in the mail. Last I checked, Paul No, you don't, but you can send to the dealers. And, no, I, 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 I agree. agree. She, I disagree. I disagree. Well, here's the thing. She got the package not knowing what it was, and the terms and policies are the following. If you get a package that was unintended for you, you, number one, have to call FedEx and say, you know what, I just got a package that was not addressed to me, not to my address. She opened a package that wasn't even addressed to I her. I could do the same. And second, well, she she called package the police. delivered in my house, FedEx, they knock on your door, they deliver It's not like some parcel in the mailbox they address it. Yeah, of course you open it. Well, yeah, you know, she should have looked at the address, it. and she didn't do time. that. And, and yeah, secondly, secondly, the next thing is... She, 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 she has to live by the guidelines. If you get a package and well, no, the but here's the thing. If, okay, if you get a package, okay, 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 fine. She got. It. I understand. Now that you didn't say that's not. What I say is that. Well, the, hold on. There's one more thing I want to say. Let me finish. Excuse me. Let me finish. I don't care what the guidelines say. My issue here, Neil, is that FedEx was notified. The police notified them. There, can, there was drugs in this package. This is part of a drug deal. FedEx had a duty to not release this woman's name and address to drug dealers. They know that where would this be woman the case. Is. That is a that very would be the case. Situation. However, so Monica, I now answer that. Monica, to just that Monica, complaint. just Monica, go ahead. Thank you. According to the complaint, these drug dealers showed up to her house shortly after the police left, which means that they actually got this information because here's what happens: if you get a tracking number through FedEx. Right, and if let's say you track the the package and it shows that it's Go been delivered, right. well, no, it's it's been delivered and it's not at the drug dealer's house. Guess what? They're gonna call FedEx right away and say, "Where's my package number one?" And who signed for it? And that is pot? exactly where's what probably pot? happened. They said, "Where's my pot? Where's my package?" And yeah, FedEx that disclosed like, that information I before the police the got to them. Mail, I want to... All right, ladies, uh, thank well, you both very very much. We'll see you in the Sorts out, but boy, this whole segment's left me. I just kind of. Anyway, the CEO is out, the stock is up, so what?